Great, thank you. My name is Stuart Sutton, and with me is Derek, as the young man mentioned. I'm the founder and uh, CEO of Full Circle TMS. Derek is our director of engineering. So Full Circle TMS is a SaaS-based enterprise-level transportation management software product. And typically, we serve the hotshot, the expedite, the truckload, and brokerage markets. The software is fully API-based. And it's the third time I've designed and built a TMS. The first one was back in 1995. I uh, built a client-server-based solution. In 2001, I left there, built my first SaaS-based solution, which I then sold to Qualcomm in 2011, ran it for several years. Started this one in 2015. It's my third time doing a TMS. So today, what I'm going to demonstrate is how you can pay your drivers themselves. They can pay themselves after every trip, and you still get all the necessary paperwork to invoice your customer within seconds. Now, because we own the technology, both uh, the technology that the uh, dispatchers use and what the uh, drivers use, we can do a lot of this customization. So the first screen that I'm going to show you here is kind of how to set up the drivers to self-serve where they can get their own money on certain milestones of the trip. So the milestones we've set up here is that once they get dispatched, they can get up to 30% of their money. And then when the trip empties and they got the POD signed, they can get up to 60% of the money. And in this one, I've got that when the paperwork gets checked in and billing, they can get up to 95% of the money. So we're going to go and dispatch an order now. Uh, so I'm going to go oop, take an order here and dispatch it to the truck. And I've set up my truck, my phone to be one of the trucks. When I send this dispatch out, I'm going to have the driver respond that they, he's actually seen the load. So what happens in the dispatch grid now, if you can see it, it's hard to tell maybe that it says that it's been offered to the driver. If the driver doesn't push this button in the next 15 minutes, that will change to timed out. So I go into the mobile app and open up the mobile app. And at the top, you'll see a green button that says accept this, off this uh, manifest. So I click on that and click yes. And then back in my other screen, that offered will, will just disappear. If I don't click that within 15 minutes, it says timed out. So dispatch know that the driver just isn't on his way. Now, then what happens at, at the very top of the screen, it now shows that how much money he's going to get paid for that trip, plus he can get his first advance. So he just clicks on that number, and it opens up a screen where I'll say get advance. Now, what's happening here, it's going to go out to the system, calculate his advance, put it on his driver card, and then it's going to create deduction records in the uh, settlement system for his next pay, so it's automatically done that. So that's done now. He's got his money, it's on his card, so he can go buy his fuel. So he's done that, and let's fast forward to where he gets on site. So uh, he's going to use the app and do the arrive. He clicks on that, and he will confirm arrive. What happens here, it goes and updates the system, and then it generates emails or text messages up to the shipper to say they're on site. So that's done. Uh, the driver, let's fast forward a little bit. He's got the POD, so now he's going to go get the POD. Now, you've all seen imaging products work, so I'm not going to show you that. We can scan the document. We'll just take an existing document, and we'll just upload it, and we'll call this the, uh, the bill of lading, and done. And then we will send that up to the system. And what that's going to do is upload that into the system and index it directly to the order. So as the shipment is running, the driver is actually filling out all the necessary stuff to complete the load. So uh, now we're going to fast forward to uh, the empty. So we've got this, this uh, trip all ready to go now. So he's now down to the final. He's arrived. He's now finished his load. And he's got to go get the signature capture. So he clicks on delivered on the mobile app. He types in who's signed for the freight, George Washington. And then he signs for the freight or gets a constant need to sign for the freight, clicks done, clicks confirm delivered. What that's going to do is send, so you see the text message I just got, that's as a customer. The customer's been notified that delivery's done. They've got a copy of the signature. And uh, that's been, been uploaded into the system. And that signature has been superimposed on the standard bill of lading as well. So now if I go back uh, and look, uh, if I refresh the screen, you'll see now I can get my second installment of money. So if I click on that link, I can go and get my second advance, because the driver's done the second part of the trip, which is I've done the load. He's got a second advance, and it's going to take a couple seconds, and it'll be done. Now, let's go back into the order, and I'll look at the invoicing now, and I'll go into the invoicing section, and I'll look at the invoice data. So I'll first look at what all the paperwork that's come in. So I've got the bill lading there. I've got the bill lading and the POD. 
So the signature is on that second one, auto scanned, and they're already tagged on the invoice. So Derek's already said, hey, I've checked the paperwork and it looks good. If I actually want to look at what the invoice looks like so far, and this is all done in live right in front of you. Nothing's been done behind the scenes. There's the invoice. There's the uh, signed POD with George Washington and his signature and the current date and time. And there's the other document that I uploaded as the uh, bill of lading. So uh, that's all ready to go. And so what I do is uh, go into the invoice and I just check in the paperwork. Update that. Now I'm going to go back to my trip. So the driver now will be notified that he can get his third advance. So now if I look at the top, I see that I've got my third advance there. I click on that, get advance, and I've basically got uh, my third advance, which could be up, 100 up to 100% of my trip. So in summary, just to kind of tell you what's happened here, we created an order. We've dispatched it. The driver's got that data, got all three, three milestone advances put on his card. He could be paid up to 100% of his trip when the trip is done and the paperwork's been checked in. The invoice is now ready to go. So if I set this invoice ready to print, then go and uh, generate my print batch. Click generate print batch. I will now have a button where I can either email it to my customers, EDI it to my customers, or maybe even uh, send it as a document to my factoring company to get paid. Full circle. So if anybody wants to come and see the slow motion version of this, because this is the speed version of this, come to our booth number 28 and we can show you it working step by step and all the different things that can go wrong and how you can fix those things that go wrong. This is a very uh, platonic version of what can happen on a trip. We all know that things can go wrong. So booth number 28, come and visit myself or Derek. Thank you very much.